Hello, and welcome to our new series, Fusion Writing. I'd like to introduce our, my team teacher, Victoria Crowder. Victoria, say hi. Hello. <laughs> it's wonderful to have you here for, for, if you're one of my students, then this is the second round because you may have graduated from or you may still be taking uh, the course Reawaken the Dream of Writing. And this is a new version of the course. Uh, in this version, what it's going to be the similar material to what we covered in Reawaken the Dream of Writing. And because we're still, and from my standpoint, it's still focused on the character traits. Victoria is going to teach more about how to write, and I will let her describe what she's going to teach for to you as well. But I want to tell you a little bit about the format of the course before we get into the particulars. This is a, a new format in that it's it's partly public on YouTube, and part of it is private on lilypub.org. The YouTube side, you'll be very familiar with, except that it's twice a week. You're used to a once a week with a longer format video for writing uh, Reawaken the Dream. This will be shorter videos on Monday and Tuesday. The Monday video introduces the topic that we're going to be talking about for that week. The Tuesday video gets down to some of the more particulars. It's the more teaching video. Then the course turns private over on Lilypub. Lily, in lilypub.org, we will be having worksheets for some assignments, opportunities to have a discussion of what's going on with the week's lesson, and the place where you can log your sample writing, if you want to do that, will have checklists so you can check off how your assignments are coming along. And on Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific time, that's uh, 1, 11, 12, 1 p.m. Uh, Central, 2 p.m. Eastern uh, time, we're going to have a live Zoom call, which you will all be invited to. If you're on, if you're a member of LilyPub, you can uh, you'll have the Zoom link there, and you, the whole class can get together and talk about the lesson and how it went, and ask questions and interact on the lesson. So it's just a much more interactive experience. It's not going to be a cumulative course. Well, of course it is. Every course is always cumulative, but. The idea here is that you can drop in anytime. There are, there are no prerequisites. And each week is pretty much standalone. The weeks follow a pattern, but you can come in anytime and just take the course. We're, we're not going to assume a giant amount of pre-knowledge. Uh, and, and to the extent to which we do, you can just pick it up as we go along. If it's my stuff that you're wondering about, my book is out, Writing with Emotion. And you can pick that up. Um, there'll be a link to where you can get the book. And it's it's going to be a, a freer style, a more lighthearted, and more practical, more actually writing, getting those words out of your head and onto the paper, as Victoria always says. And for me, getting those emotions out of your heart and onto the paper so that your readers can also pick up those same emotions. So I'm going to... Um, I'll tell you in a little bit. I'm going to let Victoria introduce her style of what she will be teaching. Greetings, everyone. Uh, Anti-novelists, friends, curious onlookers, and Lilligans. Um, this is Victoria coming to you from the library at the ranch. I wanted to take a few minutes and introduce my new project that I will be co-teaching with the esteemed Kathleen Spracklin who's over on her channel most of the time, but we're gonna launch this together and take a crack at co-teaching um, different flavors of the kinds of things that you've gotten from each of us. So the program is called Fusion Writing and it takes place in a hybrid format. So on Monday and Tuesday, we will be appearing on YouTube and that will be a public offering so people can just pop in, learn the material, take a peek at it, and then we'll spend the rest of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 
over on LilyPub, which is our community that we've just launched. And we'll have links and make sure that you know how to find everything to get there. But the important thing is our goal is to allow you to taste each of our styles and each of our offerings of material, because what we've discovered is they're very complementary. So you've been spending time with me working on novel writing and character development and the more architectural aspects of writing a story. Whereas with Kathleen, who, shameless plug, has just released a book, Writing with Emotions, is going to depart with her material and help us go much, much deeper into how to develop our characters, how to use her definitive character traits to toggle the ways that you change that character and give your reader a much deeper experience. So I am super excited because she brings such a different perspective to the things that we've been covering together. I think you're really going to find value in the way she approaches it and the way that she really helps you bring those characters out so that you give your reader that great experience. So um, the classes will be standalone. You won't have to, to follow sequentially so much of the things that I've done. You really need to start at the beginning and go straight through. You won't have to do that with us. So we'll give you, as I said, a brief overview on Monday. It will be fun and lighthearted. It'll just help you jump into the material and get that bird's eye view. And then we'll be providing worksheets and other supplemental materials so that you can get your arms around the material. And then we'll work back and forth together, um, as I said, over in LilyPub. And that will give us a chance to explore the ideas, play around with them, get a feel for what might work for you or what might not. And then the super fun part will be something I've wanted to do for a long time, and we're making that happen now, is on Saturday at 1 o'clock Central, we'll have a live Zoom. So we can all get together, talk about what we've been doing all week. We can share material, learn from each other, and really get a good handle before we go on to the next week and start again. So I so look forward to seeing everybody as we get started. As I said, you can pop in any time, whatever time you have to spend with us. Please come join us. Our little community is growing nicely. And we really look forward to having you join us in Fusion Writing. Hello, Fusion Writers. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Victoria Crowder. I am an author and a teacher and a writer. Um, I wanted to just take a moment and give you a little bit of a high-level view of what I teach generally so that as we come into the course, you understand how things fit together. My programs revolve around the architecture of story. So we're talking about plot development. We're talking about character development. We're talking about setting. We're talking about ways of using your Zettelkasten, which we'll talk about what that is in the course, which is your note box, your note card system, in order to track all of these things and in order to build your story using scenes and sequels and the pieces that we have accommodated onto our framework. So that's a high level view of what I do. As we get into the course, we'll be picking apart each one of those items so that you can start to put those tools into your toolkit and ultimately make yourself a better writer. So I will see you over in the class. I look forward to it. See you soon. Well, I hope that overview has helped you figure out a little bit about what the course is going to be about. But of course, the best thing to do is just experience it and you'll catch on very quickly how the new format is going to work. So we're going to begin each week with a, con a discussion of structure, which Victoria will present, and the character traits, which I will present. So the first two weeks of the month will be uh, structure and character traits. The third week of the month will be Zettelkasten, and we each have a slightly different approach there that will bring you into what we put into our Zettelkasten and why. And then the fourth week of every month will be you writing. So it'll also, have, besides having a week plan, it'll also have a plan through the month. So let's just so that you can get an idea of the way it's going to be, let's go ahead and launch into uh, the first uh, lesson and you can ex very quickly, you'll pick up on what the format is going to be like. So I'm going to turn it over to Victoria. Victoria, take it away. Hello. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen so that you have viewership to what I call my plot cheat sheet. Before I do that, just a quick high level look at what that means. 
There's a common misunderstanding, especially among new or less experienced writers, that when you sit down to write a novel, you start at the beginning, you know what you're going to write, and you write it from beginning to end, and when you're finished, you have a draft of a novel. That is exactly wrong. I'm not saying that there aren't people who can do that, but I am certainly not one of them. So instead, what the plot cheat sheet is going to do for you is it's going to give you a framework of eight basic standard plot points. Will you use all of them? Not necessarily, but they're just guideposts that help you understand how to get from one point in the story to the next point so that you can start stringing the framework of that story together. And then as we go deeper into how to fill all of those things in, you'll already have a structure in mind that you can think forward and backward and sideways, all directions in your story. So let me share my screen. What you're looking at is the plot cheat sheet. So if you look down the left column, I've color-coded the four acts of a story, all right? Aristotle used to argue that there were three acts in a drama. Well, this is where I punch Aristotle in the face and say, no, there's actually four, because that helps you keep those pieces straight in your mind, because it's two halves bisected by a midpoint. So in act one, if you're looking at the cheat sheet, you see the first thing that happens is you meet the hero and something causes a disturbance. Then there is an inciting incident and a first plot point, and that wraps up act one. Then we go to act two. You have a battle, and that brings you to the midpoint. That's the halfway point of your story. Then we go into act three, where things become active and you start picking up momentum. You have your second battle, and there's a third plot point, which moves your story along to the finale. And that launches you into act four, which is your final battle, and then the finale or the, the rebirth of wherever you're ending your story at, right? You want to wrap everything up in a nice bow. So that's a super high level view of the framework that we're going to be using. Now, when we get into the next lesson, I will talk about how you're going to break that apart and start using it so that you can build out that story that you have stuck in your head. We need to start getting it on the page. That way you have something to work with. So that's a high level view of the plot cheat sheet. And we will start working in our next lessons on how to dive into it. So I'm going to turn it back over to Kathleen. Um, Thank you, uh, Victoria. Um, what I'm going to introduce this week is the concept of resilience. Resilience is, uh, if you're in my class, you know that it's not a character trait by itself. It's a whole group of character traits, but it's very much a part of the emotional impact of the story. Resilience is about how you get through the tough places in life. I thought it was a perfect spot to complement what Victoria just told you about, about first battle, second battle, final battle. Well, what do you need going into a battle? You need resilience. You need courage. You need strength. You need personal power to take you into the battle. And so that's the first character element that we're going to be thinking about, along with when you're thinking about, well, what challenges are you going to deliver to your to your character? Be thinking about, well, how's he going to be feeling when he encounters that challenge? And uh, so this, this is a perfect opportunity to consider, is does he begin by being frightened of it? Does the story change? Does he gain in confidence? By the end, is he a power person, ready not just to go in with courage, but with joy and power? That's part of the story arc. How does he go from, oh no, oh no, to here we go. And that's the that gives you some of the power that's behind the drama. And so I want you to just think about this week and the questions that I want you to just explore mentally today between today and tomorrow, just think about this thing. Where in life have you had to face battles? And where where have you had to have some courage to face what's going on in your life? Where has it been long, just a long slug? Where has it been a big, scary obstacle? You know, where has it just out? Where's it been, ooh, ow, ooh, where's it been painful? You know, where has it been, ooh, I don't know if I'm up for that much success? Oh, no. People can actually be frightened of success. 
And then another one, if you actually make it, who do you become if you're successful? Does it change you? Does it change you in a good way or a not so good way? So these are just some of the thoughts to just, just be thinking about a little bit. Um, just, just today, just to explore this concept. So Victoria, do you have some questions that you'd like to have our students ponder between today and tomorrow? Absolutely. So um, playing off of the ideas that, that you've already introduced, let's look at our plot cheat sheet and start to think, what do I want my character to do? If you already have a character in mind, now is the time to start jotting down those notes. Is it a male, a female? It, what are the details about this person? What are their attitudes? Just start exploring in very casual writing. This doesn't have to be formal. It doesn't even have to be full sentences. It can literally just be notes on note cards. It does not matter. All you're doing is you're unpacking those little details and thoughts and snippets and things that are rolling around in your mind and you're just getting them down on a page. Once they're on the page, then you can start testing those relationships out. And just like Kathleen said, is this person fearful? If they are, why? Because here's the thing, when you start answering those questions and thinking about them, this person is gonna start coming to life in your head. And that's when you know you've got a good character. If things seem flat, they don't seem exciting to you, you don't feel like you're getting anywhere with it, start with another idea. Maybe start with, um, where do you want this person to end up at? If you want them to end up as a hero, a triumphant hero, then work backwards. What has to happen? What challenges might they be facing in order to end up in that heroic position? Just like the examples that Kathleen gave you, those are perfect starting points to just start thinking about what do I want the flow of this story to be? And what does this person have to look like in order for me to get them there? So get those notes jotted down. You don't have to worry about what point in the story they're gonna appear. Don't, don't bother yourself with any of getting in the weeds details. This is just high level. What excites me when I think about this? It excites me that I'm gonna have a hero that is challenged in this way and this way. And to me, that's what resilience is. Just jot those things down. Because then when we start workshopping, you're gonna start to pick those things apart and join up those threads. And that's how you're gonna build your character. So I will hand it back to Kathleen to wrap up. Okay, thank you so much. And um, if you are over in Lillipub, you will find that you will be able to find in uh, the Fusion Writing Group. Go uh, Come join the Fusion Writing Group. It's open to anyone. Uh, after you join Lillipub, then uh, you'll find your materials there. You'll find the eight plot point worksheet that Victoria showed you. It will be out there and you'll find a worksheet on um, resilience. And uh, tomorrow we're going to do uh, go a little bit more deeply. We're going to be this. That will be sort of the tomorrow's lesson will sort of be the teaching part of things. But even when we teach and we'll remind you of this again tomorrow, this is reference material and you'll be able to look up the reference material over on Lillipub. So just even tomorrow, if it's, if it, even though we're going to be teaching, just let it float over you to, and think of it as giving you the idea. So same time, same place. The new next lesson will, will be posted uh, bright and early tomorrow morning. So you can watch it whatever time of the day you like. And in the meantime, come on over to Lillipub and uh, take a look at Take a look around, introduce yourself, um, stop by the library. Uh, that When we're not writing, a lot of us hang out in the library. And uh, so fill out your profile and get ready for a wonderful time. Introduce yourself to your classmates and we'll see you over there. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the library.